Hey guys, we're Damian 9 here, and I thought since this year marks the 25th anniversary of uh, Pokemon, I thought what better than yet to uh, show my cards that I've collected since 1996. And yes, I am older than Pokemon, but man, I feel old knowing that Pokemon is 25 years old now. But let's look through some of the cards I have collected over the years. I started collecting in 96 and I stopped collecting in, uh, oh, I guess 2000, 2001 is when I stopped. So I collected for a good while there. And uh, this is what I've collected so far. Uh, if you guys see anything valuable, let me know in the comments below. And uh, let's get to it. Of course, here's the original binder. I, uh, cop I, uh, collected all these cards in. Gaming train card. I'm sorry, it's a little dirty. Um, I've had this thing over, I don't know how many years now. But let's go through some of the cards. And, uh, let's see what we have here. Of course, the first, uh, page here, or the first packet here is blank. But here we go. Here we go with some cards I collected. This might be a long video, so I'll just scan over real slowly. Uh, a lot of energy cards, and a lot of training cards you will see, and a lot of duplicates you will see. Um, but not all, uh, and I don't know really, I've not seen this myself in quite some time. So I don't know what cards you'll see, but um, I have uh, I have collected a good bit over the years. But here we go, here's some. I think these are from the movie, of which I have on VHS. I feel old saying that. Um, and here we go, a bunch of energy cards. Now I'll probably stick to the energy card. Because I know that doesn't interest anyone. No one likes really, no one likes energy cards. <laughs> um, there's some that are rare, I guess. I don't know which ones would be considered rare. When they're all the same, um, just about, yeah, this is a whole page of energy cards. Uh, yeah, there we go, a lot of them. I, I said I collected booster packs since 96 to 2001, and then I just stopped. I don't know why. I got avid. I only played this game once in my whole life, and I was probably 8 or 9 when I played it. And, uh, yeah, I just stopped. I did more for collector reasons than um, play, play, to play the game. I liked the anime. I had the very first episode on VHS. <laughs> Showing how old I am. But here we go. Here we go with some. Uh, let's see. Is that a. Yeah. That's just some energy cards. Okay. Here we go with some more cards to actually look at. I hope you guys can see that well. Um, yeah. But these are cards. I said, I think I stopped 2001. These cards are from 96 to 2001. Um, I have not collected anything beyond that. Any cards beyond that. As you can tell by the Pokemon, you're seeing these are all first generation Pokemons. And some of these are Japanese even. Because uh, that's when they started. Um, well, that's when they started. Uh, they started Japanese cards in the 90s. And they kind of got off, they kind of stopped that production of those um, when I stopped collecting. Because I don't have many of the Japanese, I have a bunch of training cards. You'll see a lot of duplicates of these. Trainer cards are very common in this. Uh, there's Iete. I forget that I said the name right. That was a movie exclusive, actually. If you bought the Pokemon movie on VHS, you get that card with it. That's the only way you could get that card. Um, I don't know of any other way except buying it separate. But, uh, here we go with some other cards. Mostly, like the trainer cards are like energy cards almost. Um, I think that Mew is from the movie as well. Which I got from the movie also, or I got from another movie I have on VHS. I'm not real sure. Um, but there were some, some of these were exclusive. Mewtwo there. Um, some of these were exclusive and everything. Um, that's just my Pokemon cards. I have more 
Pokemon products in this. I have the VHS tapes. I have uh, uh, the VHS tapes, the books, uh, the strategy guide. Well, not strategy guides. The um, price guide, the original price guide, and everything. <laughs> but um, yeah. These are some of the original card collectors. These are all from 96 to 2000. My favorite is Psyduck. That has always been my favorite Pokemon since I was a kid. That's why I had to have him in a set. Um, I just like Psyduck as a character. Anyway though, yeah these are... These are the cards I said from childhood to now, when I'm the original owner. Um, I bought all these in booster packs a long time ago. And they went straight to this binder as soon as I bought them. As you can tell, how they don't have any really, they don't really have any wear on them. Uh, and this binder is not full, but I do have too many pages for it, so you'll see later some of the pages are not even. Uh, connected to the binder. They're actually there's another side duck. Like I said he's my favorite. And uh yeah, like I said I think all the way to two thousand one is when I stopped another side duck. Uh as I said like side duck. <laughs> but uh, and he was in a lot of booster packs back then. I mean it was very uh common that you just side duck in your booster pack. But uh yeah this is so it might be a long video. Where does this pennant mark here? Um, but there's Twirtle. An uh, original favorite. Because uh, he was in the very first few games. He's always in the games. I, read it, I think Red put him on red and yellow. He was, a, he was always one of the first ones you could choose. I did have a Charizard. But I don't know where he is. I need to find him because he's really gone up in value a lot. Yeah, some of these might be. I mean, I have anything in the slots um, with some of these pages. And I'm, like I said, I'm doing a lot of duplicates. As I said, I just bought booster pass and put them in there. Except for these uh, lenticular ones here, or however you want to say that. Um, these are different uh, movie. Uh, cards. These were you had to have the movie to get these, or to get those, or they came booster packs as a surprise, as the rare item. I think. I don't know. I'm old. <laughs> it's been a while since I remember collecting these. But uh, yeah, this is my collection. I have had it for. Like I said, I saw it in 2001, so I've had it since then. So God, that makes it twenty years old now. God, I feel old. Uh, of course, you know, Pokemon itself is twenty-five. Um, congratulations, uh, Nintendo and Pokemon Company for that. Um, congratulations, me you feel old. Because <laughs> uh, I do. I feel old knowing that this is younger than me. Um, but I read the cartoon. I love the cartoon. That's why I have the VHS tapes. Um. I only have like two though, but I've never had the very first episode on BHS, which was I Choose You, a Pikachu, um, which I think was like one two episodes and missed the episode, her debut episode. But, um, yeah, I just have a bunch of these. Uh, I don't know. I, I amazed I amassed a collection this big. I don't know, uh, how many cards I have, I never ever counted. Um, if I, I think I did way back when, it was like over 300. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I mean, a lot of duplicates, of course. And sorry if I keep freaking there's pages in here that don't have any in them. And you can see through that. Yeah, I said a lot of booster packs back when I was a kid. The Japanese stuff, uh... Came in the booster pass as well, I believe, but rarely. Or you get a Japanese booster pack, and that's how you got the Japanese cards. I kind of forgot how it worked back then. Well, yeah. Well, this won't be too long of a video. 
Um, but yeah, this is uh, I'm gonna try going through it a little faster here. But this is the Pokemon plush I've had since childhood, and I couldn't let go. I mean, I just couldn't let go. These are something I'm nostalgic for. I remember when Pokemon first started, of course, I said I'm old, older than it, so I remember when it started. It was a very big thing back then. It was like, I want to say it was more successful than the Beanie Babies, um, in a way, but I don't know. Leave me a comment down below what you think. I mean, there was a lot of a lot of things. And here's the museum there, the ancient Mew, which I think was in the movie as well. Some Japanese cards. Holographic most of the Japanese cards are. Um I said sorry for even the Mew background there. Ancient Mew it has ancient that's the only card that will look like that. And that's also you can tell it's Japanese. Because if it has that back to it. But yeah, um, we go closer here to that. Yeah, but uh, this is just a small sample, or a, not sample, I should say, but my collection I've had for years. Um, the cartoon ones are more car like the toonish ones. No one knows what you uh, guys start collecting when you're on the their ninety six, ninety seven, because that was also. A year when Yu-Gi-Oh started, I believe, was 97. And now it's the, the, kind of the competitor to this series. Um, it really took off uh, later on, but it really was trying to compete with this series. And it did okay, I guess. I do have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'll do that in another video. Those are a lot, too. Not like this. They're, not, they're in the tin instead of a book. But, uh... I said a lot of the movie cards here. Um, I said if you see anything valuable, let me know down below and uh, under comment or whatever. Um, Cause I have no idea. I selected these. It took me a lot of uh, saving up to get this stuff. Cause I bought all these myself. I bought all these boots to pass myself. Uh, so it took me a lot to, I had to work a lot, do a lot of chores to save it for this stuff. So you guys just let me know uh, if any of them interest you or if you guys had any of these when you were a kid. And of course, more energies will, I'm getting out of room here, we'll uh, skip the energies because I have a bunch of those. Oh, I'm not onto my loose stuff, huh? Okay, this loose stuff, um, I feel what I'm going to do about that, because I can't turn the page anymore, because it's already full. Um, here, let me fix this real quick. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry, I had to pause it there for a minute to figure out what I was going to do. Here's some more. Um, these are just, uh, not. these are in the binder, but not really. They're not attached to it, but they are in it. I mean, none of them are bent. I know they may look bent, but they're not. Um, they're, in their, they're in this whole thing. The, the Snorlax is probably one of my favorite Snorlaxes. I think it's the best one I have. Um, of course, all the trainers and movie cards um, I have. Uh, yeah, so that was two sheets. Okay. And here's trainers. I think I might end up Zippian trainers after I think that was all the Pokemon you might see. I'm not 100% um, on that. I have so many of these things that I have so many of these things that uh, they can't fit in my binder. So I have to, uh, you know, put them at the end here. One page at a time. <laughs> I said the Pokemon was a good series. I, I enjoyed the cartoon as a kid. You know, I was like seven um, when it came out. But uh, I enjoyed the cartoon as a kid. And it was a fun show to watch. Very 
fun to watch when I get home from school and on Saturday mornings. Um, that's why I got the uh, VHS tapes because um, they were really fine and they kept me they kept me out of trouble. This this kept me. I was a oh, well, I was a mischievous a mischievous kid anyway. Um, that was pretty good. Which is why I got all these booster pets. That's uh, my parents would reward me with some of these. I had to pay for all of those. Um, some of these I did. Some of these I, ma majority I paid for, but sometimes they would reward me. And Pokemon cards shows so they knew how good this was for uh, kids like me. Go way back when. And there's some other Pokemon cards there. Or not trainer cards. I said a lot of trainer cards. I know some of the trainer cards are worth money. I'm not real sure on which ones. <laughs> so comment down below if you know. Um, I don't think I'll ever sell this um, collection because it is massive. I know you've already seen those. I don't think I'll ever sell this collection. It is massive. And I do have a lot more to do with it. I do have an original. Uh, I forgot what the company name is, but I had the original Pochi Dats by that one company that made them. And that's the last page right there, y'all. Um, I'm just leave it on that last page. Anyway, y'all, that's. Let me give you one last glance. Anyway, y'all, that is my Pokemon collection, card collection from. 96 to 2001. Um, if you uh, guys liked it, please leave a like. Uh, please leave a um, subscribe. Uh, please leave a comment down below on what you think of the collection. And uh, if you guys have any idea what the valuable, what the value is. Um, and uh, like I said, thanks again for watching. This is Weird Gamer 9 I'll see you next time. Bye.